Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for checking in. So today we're just showing you the lineup of heated gear that we offer from Field Shear. And let me start this video by saying that if you've never used heated gear before, trust me, it makes a difference. If you don't want to be cold, whether it's on a motorcycle ride or really any outdoor activity, because that's what's nice about this gear is that all the pieces that we're going to show you today are battery operated. Now it is a give and take because being battery operated, yes, you do have to worry about battery life, but what I love about this gear for that reason is that it's not just limited to riding your motorcycle. If you want to go to, if you want to go skiing, if you want to go just go to an outdoor activity where you just want to have some warm gear to take with you, this gear is completely mobile. You can do whatever you want with it. So I like the battery powered gear for that reason. Now we do have some gear that we offer that does plug directly to your motorcycle. So if you like the idea of not having to worry about battery life, you just get on the bike, you plug it in. We do offer some heated gear that does have that option. But we're just gonna go through and talk about the different pieces that are up here, some of the features that we like about these to help you decide you know, which one of these you might wanna pick up and also just talk about the fit of the, some of these pieces as well. But if you have questions or comments about anything I talk about as we go through, feel free to leave that down below and we'll help get those questions answered. So. To get started, I want to talk about this vest. This is the Peak Bluetooth Vest. That's another cool thing too, is you don't see this too often, but a lot of these pieces like this vest and the primer base layer shirt and the pant are Bluetooth. So you actually can download the app that they have. It's free on the Google Play or Google Store or on the iTunes Store, and you can control a lot of these garments just using your phone, which is another cool feature about this. Okay, so first up, you have the Peak Bluetooth Vest. Now, I got to give credit where credit is due. Whoever designed this and the fit, they did a phenomenal job. So I'm about five foot seven, about 175 pounds, about a 43 inch chest, and I'm wearing a size medium in this vest, and it fits me exactly how I would want this vest to fit. It's not overly tight, but it fits close enough to my chest and to my back that I feel like those heating elements inside here are gonna do what they need to do and be you know, nice and close to my body to get that heat transferred over. Now all of these garments too, they all have four different heat settings. And all of them, you're gonna be able to control either from a button on the garment itself. So on this jacket you, or this vest, you can see it's right down here at the bottom. So all of them have a button that you can use there, but again, you have that app to do it via Bluetooth as well. But I really do like the fit of this. It fits me nice and snug. You've got extra length in the bottom. And with this, you're gonna have heating elements up here in the chest and then on the upper back. So I do, I am a fan of this. It is going to block the wind. It's gonna do really well when it comes to water also. So they did a great job with this vest. Now, if I take this off, we get to the primer base layer. So this is the shirt, and then we also have the pant up here. So again, with this, you're going to have heating elements up here in the chest. You're also going to have them on the upper back as well. Again, you've got the little button right here down here at the bottom to turn it on, or you can, again, use that app. But what's nice about this is that it's just a nice, soft, comfortable, moisture-wicking base fabric that's gonna have those heating elements. And what I like about this though, is that it's right up against your body. So when you turn this thing on, whether it's the, you know, the four different heat settings, you're gonna feel that heat right away, getting right to your body, which is a nice perk. All right, so from there, then you have the pant. Now they actually have two different pants. So you have the primer pant, which again is gonna be the same material as this shirt. I'm wearing a medium, by the way, with this shirt. But then you have the pant. Again, here's the button right here to turn that off and on. The battery pocket is actually just right here on the hip. But where the heating elements are on this are going to be right here, kind of upper thigh, kind of going towards the inside of the groin. And then the other one is actually going to be up here on the lowest part of your back. So the very upper part of the pant hitting kind of the lower part of the rider's back. That's where the heating element is on the back of this. Now, as far as temperatures go, they're all going to be a little bit different. So again, you can look at the product pages, but typically you're around, I believe, about 90 up to 135 degrees Fahrenheit for most of these items. Again, that might change a little bit. And then battery life is also a common question. A lot of people ask, well, how long are they going to last? Most of these, you're, you're upwards of 10 hours of battery life on the low setting. But that's going to drop pretty drastically if you're going to run these things on high. So most of them are going to be about three hours of battery life on the high setting. But again, that's what they're telling you. It might be a little bit different just judging off of user experience, but I'll just plan on anywhere from two and a half-ish up to about 10 hours of battery life, depending on the heat setting that you have. Now, last thing I do want to say is that there is a Thermic 2.0 base layer pant as well, which comes in at a lower price point. You get the same battery life, the same four 
uh, the same heating elements in the same areas, you get the same amount of heat settings. The difference between the two is that that Thermic 2.0, it's a little bit different material. It kind of feels like an older like thermal pair of underwear where in my opinion it's probably not going to be as comfortable when you're wearing them and they're not Bluetooth but you do come down quite a bit in price. So they do have two different options for that base layer pant. All right, now moving on, we have the Squall Glove. So with the Squall, it's a 300 denier outer fabric. You've got a fleece liner on the inside, fully waterproof, windproof glove. Here's your button right here to control it. Now the glove is not Bluetooth, but I understand why, because it's so easy just to reach right here to turn these on. And I've actually got the battery in the glove right now. So you've got this zipper compartment, battery fits right here. I'm wearing a size medium, the fit for me is really good. It is touchscreen compatible, which is nice. But to turn it on, I'm just gonna press here. There you go. So red's gonna be your high setting, press it again, and that will filter through all four different heat settings. And I turned this glove on, put it on high, and it was pretty quick that I noticed the heat getting to the back of my hand. So you're gonna have those heating elements on the back of the hand with this glove, which is nice. So if I just hold it down, it's gonna turn it right back off. You do have this nice Velcro strap here just to really cinch down that gauntlet. And then you've got some reinforcement you can see right here in the palm, which is nice. So again, that's the Squall heated glove. And then you have their heated liner. So same thing, you're gonna have the same pocket right here on the back of the hand. Turn it off and on the exact same way. Now with the liners, here's some that you would need to know. So I tried this on again, size medium, fit true to size. It's, it's a thin material and the heating elements are gonna go across the entire back of the hand. But what you need to know about this as far as fitment, if you already have a pair of gloves that you plan to wear these with, I wouldn't plan on trying to fit these liners with your current glove, depending on how it fits. I would recommend that in most cases, if you're wanting to wear a heated liner glove, you're probably gonna wanna go up one size with the glove that you're wearing these with. So just something to keep in mind. Another little thing that I noticed is that with the battery that you have inside here, it does add you know, a good amount of bulk around the wrist area. So if you're not wearing, say, like a full gauntlet glove like the Squall, you might have a harder time getting your other glove to fit over top of that. So just a couple things that you would want to be mindful of. But again, four different heat settings. That's going to be a really nice feature to add to a, a pair of existing gloves that you might already have. They also have heated insoles. So with these, these are going to be Bluetooth as well. And the way you actually charge these is right here on the inside. You can see you've got your USB port right here, so you can just charge it there. And then these are gonna be Bluetooth again, just use that app and where the heating element is on these is gonna be up in the toe area. So if you suffer from cold toes when you ride, if you don't like that, then these will be a really good option. And these come in multiple different sizes. So just refer to the sizing chart, but yeah, it's pretty nice. So just Bluetooth, lots of battery time with these. So again, cold toes, check out the insoles. And then last but not least, you have the heated socks. So with the heated socks, you're gonna have those heating elements. I can fill them right here at the very edge, again, towards the toe area. It's a nice tall sock, very comfortable. I'd say it's about a mid-weight to a thick sock. So it's gonna do a good job of just keeping your feet warm. You can see the length on it. It's gonna be a tall sock, so it's gonna go up over the top of the calf. So again, just something to be mindful of. But the way that these are controlled is you actually have the battery right here. So actually, I'll just show you, it's pretty simple. If I just do this inside out real quick, there is the little pouch for the battery, you just plug it in. And the way that the sock works is a little bit different. You don't have that little switch or the little button. Instead, on the actual battery right here, you can see you control the heat setting using the battery. So you just plug it in, and then the battery is what's gonna get that thing going for you. And that's it. That is the heated gear lineup again from Field Shear. You've got the base layer, you've got that peak vest, the gloves. They got everything you need. And like I said, if you've never used heated gear before, it makes a big difference. Trust me, you don't realize how much you love this stuff or how much you need it until you go without it. So be proactive, get some today. If you have questions, comments, though, make sure to leave those down below. Click the link or head over to rockymountainhtvmc.com to get yours today. As you guys all know, we ship for free over 75 bucks. Last thing I will say, though, is that when it comes to the heated gloves or the liners, heated grips. If you haven't done that already for your motorcycle, get heated grips. That will make a big difference as well. Also, some hand guards on there to block the wind. Get subscribed, hit the notification bell, and that way you're always going to stay up to date on all the greatest videos that we have just like this. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.